Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about um, the dot chart. So Polkadot, obviously, as you can see here on the chart, the price shows some weakness um, going down today in line with most other cryptocurrencies, which were close to top or where already we've seen five waves up. Here on the dot chart, we've already seen five waves up as well. However, a three wave pullback kept the door open for higher prices, but we needed a $6.55 breakout or well, a break above that level to really get some confirmation that a third wave up is already unfolding. Um, yeah, the, the reluctance yeah, and the inability of the bulls to really get that breakout done basically meant that a wave two, at least a wave two is still unfolding. So this wave two correction here, yeah, wave one up, from the swing low that formed on the 5th of July and the wave two pullback. This is how I see it at the moment. We had a possible questionable five wave move up here into the 8th of July high, then an A, B, C could now be unfolding in wave two. So how, how does that fit into the big, bigger picture? Let's zoom out quickly before we dive into the, the micro further. Um, looking at the bigger picture, obviously we had this uh, first yeah, initial five wave move up of a larger wave degree here into the 14th, 15th of March highs from where we then started a decline in larger wave two. And from here, a larger third wave could start, which might take the price to 20, 23, maybe even $29. Important is though, important is that the price holds the $5.24 support level, but we talk about that in a minute. But looking at the bigger picture, five up, yeah, three down, and the main support area is relevant for the idea that this could be a larger wave too. It's between $6.50 and $4.60. But if we've already bottomed in this larger wave too on the um, 5th of July, then we have a possible micro five wave move up from the low, we can consider that at least it's only marked with a question mark on this chart. The main reason for that is because the last spike didn't happen on other exchanges other than Binance, I think, so it's not on Coinbase, but it is a possible five up. And then this here would be at the moment just sideways action, but it could be a sideways correction, a so-called flat correction, A wave down in three waves, B wave up and a C wave down now unfolding. Um, I don't have a reliable micro count. I mean, this could be a one, two, three, maybe it's another four, five, um, but it could also be a WXY structure. So it could bottom at any point, but for now it looks as if at least a wave two is unfolding, maybe something more bearish. It's clear that this is still a corrective move, but I'm watching this micro support area. And if we can hold $5.24 or above, so one of these previous FIP levels, 568, 550 or 524, and then break out above 655. Well, that would be an indication that the larger third to the upside is actually unfolding. $7.20, 764 or 815 are the next key levels there to watch really. Yeah. Um, but first of all, we need to break above 655. There are really only two main levels now that are really of interest. The $5.24 level, because this is the key level where bullish momentum and bearish momentum are shifting. So this is where the micro support area breaks and 655, which is the level that is needed to confirm an upside breakout. That's my update about DOT. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.